The biggest thing for me is my ability to be able to give back to my community. So whilst I run a business, I also have time to be able to run non-for-profits and give back and support you know, the community I grew up in in Western Sydney. And for me, that's the biggest thing about running a business. Uh, my name is William Trullen. I'm a proud Nakumaru Anawa man, born and raised out in Western Sydney. So running an own business, my day-to-day -day changes. One day could be meetings back to back and the next day I could be out working with community, out with mob, having yarns. Um, it just depends on the work that I'm actually doing and some of my clients. That's what I love about running a business. It means I have variety. I'm not stuck in kind of one industry. So my career started out as a chef. I did an apprenticeship when I was 16, left school quite young and because um, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I worked as a chef in restaurants and and cafes for many years and then about 20 years old I got into working in a non-for-profit and from there there was a gradual progression working in non-for-profits and governments and I spent you know 12 years working in multiple different jobs and I job top because I didn't know what I wanted to do and then I um, transitioned out of government into the private sector and from there it was a natural progression into starting my own business because I wanted to work for myself and be my own boss and dictate what I wanted or should be doing and in turn, what it meant, it gave me flexibility and freedom to be able to work in an industry that um, challenges me, but also offers a lot back. To run a business, I actually didn't need any qualifications, but what I did need is I needed drive and the, and the hunger to become self-sufficient and work in a space that is very high demand. I realized later on I did need to kind of get some qualifications, so I went to uni later on in life and I realized learning and growing as an individual didn't just doesn't stop when you become a certain age. So I was 29 when I went to uni and even then I still still currently studying at 35 years old and you know I always find myself now even at 35 that I'm asking myself well, what do I do next, right? What's my next step? And you know I think as we grow as individuals or as we grow as, uh, as people, it's always good to challenge yourself. And that's for me why I got into business. And now my next tip is around how do I get an education to match that background. So the values or the attributes I would say to young people or anyone for that matter is to believe in themselves. I couldn't read till I was 16. You know, I, I, I should be the exception to the rule, but what I, what I had was this determination and drive for me to get to where I am today. So I would encourage people, don't doubt yourselves, you know, there's always opportunity. It's how you, how you look for it and how you harness that. And there are people out there who are like you, who have come from the same struggles, who have been, you know, uh, who have succeeded. So I would encourage you to believe in yourself and always know that you're, you're amazing. I think as Aboriginal people, you know, we're a part of it. We're, we're a part of a bigger family and it's not just about our immediate family, but also our family within our community. So for me, running a business and, and being a business owner gave me that, um, that flexibility to be able to go and work for MOB. And you know, I do lots of community-based work that supports capacity building, particularly with young people from Western Sydney. And you know, the importance for me, and something that was instilled by my family, is that give back. And I, I would encourage everyone to look at what does business mean for them or, or entrepreneurship or self-employment because the flexibility and the freedom it gives you, you know, is the most gratifying, most rewarding thing I've ever got from my career.